A lot of us have heard our parents and grandparents say we're in our last days. Is the end actually near? Meaning, end of the world. Multiple videos of horn sounds coming from the sky. Have you heard them? The unexplained sounds coming from the sky in 2024 from bustling city streets to remote mountain villages. No one is safe from these eerie noises. Scientists are baffled and conspiracy theorists are convinced it's the end of days. But is it? Or is there a more rational explanation? Stay tuned to find out. In recent years, there have been strange and unexplained trumpet-like sounds heard in the skies around the world, including over places like the USA. Some people are worried these sounds might be signaling the end times, as mentioned in religious texts like the Bible. While the Bible talks about events leading to the end times, it doesn't specifically mention America, focusing more on places like Israel, Iran, Libya, Russia, and China. So, the connection between these sounds and the end times is kind of mysterious. These eerie noises have been recorded in places like San Francisco, where people have heard what sounds like loud trumpets blaring in the sky. Videos of these strange occurrences have gone viral on social media, causing a lot of curiosity and even fear among people who hear them. People all over the world have reported similar sounds, describing them as trumpet-like or mechanical, and some even say they come from the sky or deep underground. These mysterious sounds have been happening for quite some time, with reports dating back centuries. This sound, this is crazy. But with the internet and social media, they've become more widely known. People from different countries, including the United States, Canada, Costa Rica, Russia, and Australia, have all reported hearing these strange noises. While some think these sounds might be natural phenomena or just misunderstandings, others believe they could be signs of something bigger, like the end of the world or messages from a higher power. The noises have a strange quality to them, often sounding like groans mixed with metallic vibrations, similar to musical instruments. These reports have sparked a lot of interest and speculation, with theories ranging from scientific explanations to supernatural interpretations. But regardless of what's causing these sounds, it's important to stay curious and open-minded. People all around the world have heard weird sounds in the sky. Some say it's like hearing voices, while others describe it as loud, booming noises that sound like horns. People have different ideas about where these sounds come from. Some think they're a warning of something bad about to happen, like a natural disaster. Others say they might be caused by normal things in the air, or even by aliens visiting Earth. Scientists have some explanations, too. They think maybe it's because of the weather or stuff happening deep inside the Earth. Sometimes when the atmosphere or the ground moves in a certain way, it can make sounds that seem like they're coming from the sky. But even scientists aren't sure exactly what causes these sounds. People have been hearing these strange noises for a long time, but they've become more talked about since around 2011. Some people connect these sounds to stories from the past, saying they've been heard before big events like wars or natural disasters. Others who believe in aliens think it could be spaceships making these sounds. But not everyone is convinced. Some say the videos and recordings of these sounds might not be real. They think people might be hearing something else and just think it's coming from the sky. With the internet, it's easy for fake stuff to spread, so it's hard to know what's true and what's not. Many serious people, like government agencies and weather experts, have looked into these strange sounds in the sky. While they don't have a clear answer yet, they agree that something unusual is happening up there. These mysterious noises have puzzled and worried people all over the world. Some think they're natural, while others wonder if they're made by people or even aliens. Some see these eerie horn-like sounds as reminders of the many mysteries still left in our world until we have more proof. These sky sounds will keep us guessing. Some people also think there's a spiritual meaning behind them. Some believe they're from bad spirits trying to scare us, while others see them as a warning from a higher power that the end times are near. In the Bible, there are stories about powerful trumpets, like when God appeared on Mount Sinai, or when Jesus spoke about the end of the world. Some people think these sky sounds might be similar to those trumpets, signaling big events. But since the final trumpets haven't happened yet, we can't be sure if these noises are connected to those stories. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus talks about what will happen before the end of the world. First, Jesus predicted the destruction of the impressive temple in Jerusalem, which was fulfilled when the Romans destroyed it in Ad 70. Even though the Romans initially wanted to keep the temple intact, it caught fire during the battle and was completely ruined. Then, Jesus tells his disciples about the signs that will precede the end times. 
he warns them about false leaders claiming to be the Messiah and misleading people with fake miracles. There will also be ongoing wars and conflicts between nations, as well as natural disasters like famines, diseases, and earthquakes becoming more frequent. Moreover, Jesus says that his followers will face persecution and hatred because of their faith in him. Some who claim to be Christians will abandon their beliefs when faced with pressure or persecution. Additionally, there will be many false teachers spreading incorrect teachings and leading people away from the truth. As immorality and lawlessness increase, love and trust will diminish among people. This will happen because many will reject absolute standards of right and wrong. Despite these challenges, Jesus assures that the gospel will be preached throughout the world before the end comes. To respond to these signs, Jesus encourages his followers to trust the Bible, which accurately predicts these events. When we talk about the mysterious trumpets mentioned in the Bible, it brings up a lot of questions. Some people wonder if these trumpets are signals of the end times, especially because the Bible talks about increasing wickedness before Jesus comes back. There are different beliefs about when Jesus will come back. Some think it will happen before a time of trouble called the tribulation, while others believe it will happen in the middle or even at the end of this tribulation. The Bible gives us clues about these times, but it's not always straightforward. Some people think the last trumpet mentioned in the Bible is the same as the seventh trumpet in Revelation, while others believe they are separate events. Why does this matter? Well, it helps us understand the timeline of events leading up to Jesus' return. God has given us his word to help us understand his plan for the world, including what will happen before Jesus comes back. Some parts of this plan are clear, while others are more mysterious. But God wants us to know what's going to happen so we can be ready and help others understand too. The book of Revelation, although it may seem mysterious, is meant to reveal what will happen in the future, especially concerning Jesus' return. It gives us a timeline of events, including a series of judgments called the wrath of God. In Revelation chapter 11 verse 15, then the seventh angel blew his trumpet. There were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world now belongs to our Lord and to his anointed, and he will reign forever and ever. It talks about the seventh trumpet sounding, announcing the coming of God's kingdom. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Apostle Paul talks about the transformation of believers when Jesus returns. He mentions a trumpet sounding, signaling the moment when those who have died will be raised to eternal life, and those who are alive will be changed to be with Jesus forever. Similarly, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Paul talks about the rapture, when Jesus will descend from heaven with a shout and the sound of a trumpet gathering believers to meet him in the air. This event is different from Jesus' second coming, where he will physically return to the earth and reign as king. The second coming of Jesus is a crucial event in Christian belief, as it marks the fulfillment of God's plan for the world. During this time, Jesus will defeat evil and establish his kingdom on earth. Unlike the rapture, where believers are taken to be with Jesus, the second coming involves Jesus coming to us, setting up his kingdom, and bringing peace and justice to the world. Understanding the second coming of Jesus is really important for Christians. Many people believe that recent events in the world are signs that Jesus might be coming back soon. Some people even think those strange sounds in the sky over the USA could be part of these signs. According to Christian beliefs, the second coming of Jesus is a big deal. It marks the start of something special. But it's crucial to know that the second coming is different from something called the rapture. The rapture is when Jesus takes his followers up to be with him, and it happens before a tough time called the tribulation. When Jesus comes back for the second time, it's going to be a whole different story. He won't come quietly like he did the first time riding on a gentle colt. No, this time he'll come as a mighty warrior king ready to defeat his enemies. The Bible, especially in the book of Revelation, talks a lot about this in Revelation. It says Jesus will come riding on a white horse ready for battle. His eyes will be like blazing fire, and he'll have a sharp sword coming out of his mouth. He'll be followed by armies from heaven all dressed in white this time. Jesus won't be gentle. He'll judge the world with fairness and truth, and he'll rule over all nations with strength and power. So when we talk about the second coming of Jesus, we're talking about a time of great power and majesty. It's not going to be like the first time when Jesus came as a humble baby. This time he'll come as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, ready to establish his kingdom on earth. While it's exciting to think about Jesus coming back, it's also a reminder for us to be ready. We need to make sure we're living in a way that honors God so that when Jesus returns, we'll be ready to meet him. 
And while those strange sounds in the sky might puzzle us, they shouldn't distract us from understanding the truth about Jesus' second coming. It's important not to underestimate the power of the Lord in the timing of Jesus' second coming. According to Christian beliefs, Jesus won't come back until after a tough time called the tribulation, which happens after something called the rapture. During the second coming, Jesus will have a big showdown called the Battle of Armageddon, where he'll defeat all his enemies. After Jesus' second coming, he'll set up a thousand-year kingdom, ruling as a perfect king. Even though Jesus will be among the people, some will still reject him and follow after Satan. After this thousand-year reign, there will be a big judgment where God will decide the fate of those who didn't believe in him. Those who trusted in Jesus will live with him in a new heaven and a new earth where there's only happiness and joy forever. Now, about those mysterious trumpet sounds in the sky over the USA, some people think they're a warning of the end times as mentioned in the Bible. While these sounds might have natural or man-made explanations, there their connection to the end times isn't clear. The Bible does talk about signs of the end times like false teachings and natural disasters, but we shouldn't jump to conclusions about when it'll happen. Many Christian believers get excited about connecting current events to what the Bible says will happen in the future. Others focus on spreading the message of Jesus to people all around the world who haven't heard it yet. But are these two groups of people on different paths that will never meet? Actually, there's a solid connection between these two things. When we think about Jesus' command to go and make disciples of all nations, it's not just about spreading the message, it's also about preparing the world for Jesus' return. The Bible says that when the gospel is preached to all nations, then the end will come. So while some people focus on understanding the signs of the end times, others are busy sharing the good news of Jesus with everyone they can. And in a way, these efforts are connected because they're both about getting ready for Jesus' return. One of the clearest connections between spreading the message of Jesus worldwide and what will happen in the future is, is found in what's known as the Olivet Discourse. Jesus' disciples were curious about the future so they asked him what signs would indicate his return and the end of the age. Jesus told them about various events like wars, natural disasters, and false teachings that would happen before his return. But he also said that a crucial sign would be the preaching of the gospel to all nations. So how can we be ready for Jesus' second coming? Well, first we need to believe in Jesus and what he did for us, dying on the cross and rising from the dead. If we trust in him, we're ready for his return. But being ready also means living our lives for God, reading the Bible, praying, and spending time with other believers. Even though Jesus' return might seem far off, it's essential to prepare our hearts and minds for it. We can do this by sharing the good news of Jesus with others. It might feel scary, but with God's help, we can do it. We share because we care about people, and we don't want anyone to miss out on the chance to know Jesus as their Savior. The United States of America isn't specifically mentioned in the Bible's prophecies. So as far as we can tell, there's no certainty about its role in future events foretold in the Bible. However, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be prepared for Jesus' return. Whether we're in the USA or else, the important thing is to be ready for that day. Jesus himself told us to always be prepared because we don't know when he'll come back. So, as believers, we can look forward to Jesus' return with hope, love, and gratitude. And after he comes back, we can look forward to living in paradise with him forever. The Bible mainly focuses on the story of God's plan to save the world through his chosen people, Israel. When it comes to end times prophecy, the book of Revelation mostly talks about Israel in symbolic references like Babylon, which likely represents evil kingdoms. Some people try to find the United States in Bible prophecy, but interpretations vary. Some see references in passages like Revelation chapter 13 or Isaiah chapter 18, but these interpretations often involve a lot of guesswork. The truth is, the United States isn't clearly mentioned in the Bible's end times prophecies. There could be several reasons why the United States isn't mentioned. Maybe it won't be as influential in the end times, or maybe it won't exist anymore. It's also possible that the United States will just be one of many nations that reject God in the end times. Historically, the United States has been a strong ally of Israel, which has brought blessings according to God's promise to bless those who bless Israel. But if the United States turns away from Israel, it might lose favor with God. Overall, while the Bible doesn't specifically mention the United States in end times prophecy, it's essential for all nations, including the United States, to stay faithful to God's ways and support his people, Israel. All right, everyone, that's all we have time for today. The strange sounds in the sky are definitely keeping everyone on their toes.
But remember, there's usually a logical explanation behind even the weirdest thing.